I started smoking hookah in college. Um, I didn't really drink or do anything freshman year, and then all of a sudden my friends just, like, you know, had a hookah, and I tried it once or twice. I honestly didn't like it in the beginning, but then I was just around it so much, and now it's, like, recreational. It's fun. Hookah is, is pretty much, like, you're smoking the um, shisha, which is a wet tobacco, and it can come in different flavors, like I said, and it goes through, it's, like, connected to, like, a little bowl at the bottom, which has water in it, so it's... It's like smoke, but it's kind of indirect because it's vaporized, and yeah, it just comes out as flavored smoke. Well, there's things called O's, which you can blow um, once you inhale the smoke, and there's also like little O's that you do if you just like tap your cheek while you're exhaling the smoke, so those are really cool. There are a lot fancier tricks where you like blow O's through bigger ones, but I'm not that well trained to do that so it's, honestly it's just like any other thing that you would do drinking smoking cigarettes like if you know you should know your limit if you feel like you're getting too involved with it and you don't want to then you shouldn't do it and if you just look at it as a recreational thing I don't think it's bad people are starting to do research and look into like what are we really putting in our bodies when we smoke hookah? For me, I consider that it's filtered through the water because it is a vapor, so um, it, you don't have all of the tar and everything that you don't put in that, but at the same time, like I have been realizing, um, we don't know exactly what chemicals come out of the combustion from the coal. I just think that people think it's not bad for you because it could be filtered through the water, but I mean, we don't know enough about it yet to know how severe those effects could be. And I think that's something that people need to think about before they're smoking it every weekend or every day. Smoking hookah is a lot of share. You share the pipe, the hose a lot. Even though you can interchange those mouthpieces, germs spread quickly. Even though you switch, you may switch a mouthpiece out, it doesn't mean that the germs cannot be on the hose and then transfer from the hose to the mouthpiece to you from someone else. I've done some research on it and it's not the best thing to do but I personally think it's a lot easier to get addicted to smoking cigarettes rather than uh, get addicted to smoking hookah especially if you try not to do it on a regular basis I mean it's just fun like I wouldn't smoke cigarettes for fun so 